this one yesterday no heat it was pretty cold outside so I'm back today I'm trying to run it in cooling mode and I printed up this manual offline and I figured out how to get to the to the fault codes and I also saw some LEDs up top I'm gonna turn it off right here um, and the LEDs on the roof are saying maybe the outdoor coil sensor or the actual PCB board. Then I could have sworn I got a code 19 off this, but I'm gonna grab a screwdriver because there might be some LEDs in here I can check as well. And, uh, and that could have sworn I saw a code 19, which is telling me the outside drive board has failed, which is what it looks like it's doing because everything outside will run except for the compressor. Yeah, number 19. Compressor drive in trouble. And I did, I have, yesterday I did ohm out the compressor. The compressor ohmed out. But I never saw DT, DC volts go into the compressor. And so I got to check the sensor up there. And I can run you through on these. How you're supposed to check the... Um, how you're supposed to check the, to retrieve a fault code. So it's turn the unit on, have it in cooling mode. Press super once and the display should, so should show 61. And then you press the sleep button 10 to 15 times until the unit turns off or it shows you a code. And the arrow codes are from one to 43. All right, let's do this. I had it cranked down. I'm gonna go to super mode right here. Press super. Now I'm gonna press the sleep button. There it is, code, oh, it flashed to code 19. Did you see that? So I probably got a bad drive board. That did flash a code 19. Um, so the one thing I did want to check up there real quick is the outdoor, I want to check the ohms on the outdoor uh, coil sensor. And there's some, I do have the ohms values in here for that. And then if that sensor checks out, then I'm going to be ordering up a board for the compressor. And I was able to get all this information offline for this unit. These units are real similar to Samsung units. All right, here's my probes. That's my indoor probes, outdoor probes. she blows the blower that's the victim come on Tippins let's uh Juice. All right, here's our board location.
And you can see, even though we killed power, see how the light's still on on the LEDs? And these will flash codes. Um, these are my three sensors right here. These are my sensors. All right. You can see the power is out of the board now. I'm going to lay this right here. These ones do give you some little checkpoints right there. Come on, cycle the chaos. All right. There it is, 68.7. That's the one we were looking for right there. That's in spec. I think the sensors are good. I probably got a bad circuit board. Okay, those are those are some of the ratings for the outdoor um, for the coil sensors. So my ohms reading was right. And then when you get to the compressor discharge sensor, it's a whole nother reading on the ohms charts. And. Uh, So it reads in the hundreds. So it's looking like it's looking like we're all right. Oh yeah, absolutely right in the wheelhouse there. So I'm thinking the sensors are good and the uh, the board is bad on this unit. This is the these are the LEDs I had on Sunday. We're right there, one and two flashing, or lit, pardon me, one and two lit. Now we just checked the outdoor coil sensor. Uh, it's fine. And then the third one's it leads towards the control board, which I, it's, it's just not getting voltage out to the compressor. And that with the code 19 on the indoor unit, that's what we're looking at. Stay tuned. One I have not cleaned. And then there's one that we have cleaned. Big difference. Clean one. And the one that's not, I haven't got to yet. Big difference. All right, I just got done doing some maintenance on some walking boxes. Uh, maybe I'll put a little clip in. You can see before one side's clean, one side's not, and then whatnot. But uh, I'm on my way. Let's go uh, change out this circuit board on this mini split, see if we can get it going for them, and see how that works out. Uh, I wasn't too stoked on the packaging of the new circuit board, but hey, that's what you get when you buy these off brand mini splits and not a name brand. You know, if you get a Mitsubishi or a Fujitsu or a Daikin, you know. Uh, the parts are gonna get shipped out super good quality. You gotta see how this circuit board was shipped out. I'm gonna show you guys. Let's get up here and uh, we'll get into this. All right, here I am. I'm gonna be working on the one in the back and I'll set my tools down and I'll show you how the packaging looks on this board. We got tippins on the starting lineup today. Here's how it came. This is comical. The 
that's how you get it. <laughs> All the way to from Florida like that. And we'll see how we make out. Oh, mama. Get this this cover will come off. I take a ton of screws off of this stuff so we can get it out of there. And oh, my last two I'm going to take off are these two. That'll free this up. Go ahead and take some screws out off of the actual board itself. It does kind of look a little funky down here. 
Um, that right there, that's called the reactor. React on the reactor. And uh, basically we're gonna change it out wire for wire and you got some channels that run along the plastic holder that you'll see here. And uh, let's get into this. So, that's a mounting screw. That's a mounting screw. Maybe these two at, at the end here. I think that's it. I think it's just the four. Don't lose your screws, man. Hey, also, when you do these, uh, if you notice when I came up, I had had the power off for a while. But if you come right up to one and, t and pull the fuses or the disconnect switch, you got to let it wait. Give it a good 10 minutes. This one actually has LEDs on top here. And you will see those uh, eventually the power go out on those. But if you wait a good 10 minutes, it'll be safe. If not, you can still get electrocuted on these because they will hold power in the capacitors. Just a heads up. Uh, if you haven't had any training on mini splits, that's a big deal. All right, I did have to end up taking out all the screws and there's a couple retainers on there. And then your board will get loose. And then we can... Uh, We'll remove our sensors and whatnot. So that's compressor, reactor, and let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, main power. And we got our sensor line up. Pretty simple stuff, let's get to it here. The exhaust fan kicked on. They're just getting ready to open the restaurant. Okay, so we had our blue, brown, red for S1 coming off of the board. And then we had, the, I think, the reversing valves right here. And then a ground, the ground wire. And that should free Willy. There it is. Oh, yeah, look at that dude right there got torched. got a little hot up in here. All right, I get it placed in. You got wires that come out this way, wires that come out this way. And then I'll get the screws back in. And we'll start reconnecting wires. All right, well, that's all our connectors back in. It's plug and play. You can't really mix them up. And uh, now I... We gotta get all the panels back on. That'll be the fun part. Put the puzzle back together, make it look nice.
so I got that one going. I had to re I had this wire routed incorrectly, so I had to fix that right. It goes up into this channel. Um, and I figured that out because I was trying the condenser fan to make sure it's spin and it kind of hit the wire. So you have these channels. And that's how they run the wires and stuff, so that worked out really nice. Now I gotta get this piece in and it's gotta connect with these tabs and then get back into here all nice. All right, board's back in. It looks like a mini split. Get all our panels back together. I need to wash these coils. I noticed the coils got uh, a little bit of crust on them. I mean, not super bad, there's still sunlight through them, but they still need a washing. So let's go grab the toys, do a little wash out. All right, coils are washed out. I got the power back to restored to this one. I'm gonna restore the power back to this one. Then we'll run some checks. Uh oh, the factory smoke's coming out. Nah, it's my condenser's drying out where it got wet. And then it's gotta heat up to bring my fan on. And we're back in action. I actually ran it in cooling and then now I got it in the heat pump mode. And uh, lives to fight another day. Look at that, I pissed the locals off. This guy lives there. He's disturbing his house. All right, that one's back to working. Off to the next one. Oh, the orb's going down. Yeah, look, there it is, the China.